Hello, and welcome to the Thoroughgood Associates video on clustering using R integration in Tableau 8.1. My name is Mayor Newton, and I am a business intelligence consultant with Thoroughgood Associates. Thoroughgood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau. The ability to integrate R with Tableau 8.1 enables users to leverage R for complex statistical analysis while still working within the user-friendly drag-and-drop environment of Tableau. Today, we will focus on clustering, a popular data mining technique. For information on getting started with R, or for examples of other use cases, please check out the other videos in this series. In this video, I will explain clustering and the theory behind its use. I will demonstrate how a clustering calculation can be built that leverages R from Tableau. And I will show how clustering can be used to gain insight into your data. Clustering groups your data such that each group contains data with similar sets of attributes. This enables you to identify natural groups within your data that may fall outside of the existing structure. Clustering can highlight relationships that are unique to your data set, allowing you to find new relationships within the data or allowing you to validate expected relationships that may exist. This can be particularly useful when applied to things like market research or customer analysis. There are different types of clustering algorithms that can be used, and the k-means method is one of the most popular, so that's actually the method that I will be using today. In the Tableau workbook that I have opened up, I'm connected to Tableau Superstore sample data housed in an Excel spreadsheet. I added a customer dimension into the Superstore spreadsheet for use in this demonstration. So I've joined that new customer table onto my overall sales table, which you can see over in my data source pane. I have also created a cluster calculation that passes some of the fields in my customer dimension through to R for use in clustering my customers. If I open up the expression, you can see that I'm using five different arguments as my inputs. These include the number of orders a customer has placed, the number of days since a customer has last ordered, the number of months that someone has been a customer of mine, the customer's age, and the customer's income. So now that we've seen the clustering calculation, let's start to incorporate it into a visualization. First, I'm going to create a scatter plot of sales and profit. So I'll put sales over on to my x-axis, and then I'll pull profit onto my y-axis. I'm actually going to turn off aggregation at this point so that I can see all of the data points that fall within my data set. Last, I'm going to pull my clusters calculation onto my marks card as my color. You can see that my data points are now colored based on their cluster. From here, I can also add in trend lines and see my correlation for each cluster. At this point though, I don't know much about my clusters or the customers that fall into each. So to gain more insight into the composition of each of my clusters, I'm going to open up a new sheet and build some box and whisker plots. Box and whisker plots are another new feature of Tableau 8.1. For these plots, I'm also going to turn off my measure aggregation, and I'm then going to pull all of the inputs from my clustering calculation onto my column shelf. So I'll grab number of months as customer. I'm going to need age. I'll also need days since last order and then I'll pull on income. And then lastly, I'll pull on the number of orders. Then I'll pull my clusters calculation over onto my rows shelf. Now that I have my rows and columns in place, I'll use show me to convert these to box and whisker plots. I'm also going to swap my columns and rows back to the way that I put them initially. And I'll fit the view so that we can get a better look at these. Using my box and whisker plots, I can start to gain some insight about each of my clusters. I can see that a lot of my newer customers 
fall into cluster three. I can also see that cluster one seems to contain a lot of my customers who have not ordered recently. So now that I know a little bit more about these clusters, I can continue on with my analysis to see if I can pick up any additional insight. Since my clusters consist of customers, I'm going to open up a new worksheet and begin to do some customer analysis. I'm going to put customer name onto my rows, and then I'm going to pull sales over onto my columns. And actually, I'll pull profit over onto my columns also. I can again use cluster to color my data in my marks card. And since I have so many customers coming into this list, I'm going to click and sort these customers descending by sales so that my top customers come up to the top. Now I'm able to see pretty quickly that several of my top customers are falling into cluster one. Based on my box and whisker plots, I also know that cluster one contains most of my customers who haven't ordered from me in a while. So this is actually pretty concerning. Perhaps these customers have started buying from a competitor instead. This insight might prompt me to run a marketing campaign directed towards these customers and the customers in this group in an effort to win back their business. That concludes the demonstration on cluster analysis in Tableau using R. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mayor.newton at thoroughgood.com. You can also visit our website at www.thoroughgood.com for more information about our company, our services, or our upcoming marketing events.